Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a really cool lip product that I cannot wait to try out because I actually really, really love their lip gloss. And this just looked like one of those items when I opened up the PR, I was like, ooh, I need to absolutely explore, discover, swatch, try on, do all of that good stuff here on camera. So today what we are discussing is from Buxom Cosmetics, and this is a plumping lip powder. You heard me correctly, it is a plumping lip powder. I don't really know how the whole powder thing and a plumper kind of joined hands, but we're gonna figure out if it actually does anything or if it does nothing. Out of all of my lip plumping products, I do have to say that the Buxom one is really, really intense. And this actually happened in a video like a long time ago. James hates, like hates, the Buxom lip gloss because I can't really kiss him when I'm wearing it. So I guess I get why he hates it and it's super cute because he wants to kiss me. And whenever he does, it literally makes his whole mouth like bright red, like the perimeter of his mouth, everything, because he has such a reaction to whatever they put in this product to plump your lips. So whenever I'm wearing that one, it's just like, don't kiss me, stay away. And there was one video where he literally took white Russian, which is one of my favorites from Buxom and threw it in the trash can. He's like, I'll buy you any other lip gloss, just please get rid of this. And um, I was of course like such a brat. I'm like, okay, cool, Tom Ford. But I just wanted to try this out on camera. I thought it was really unique to bring out a lip powder with this kind of, you know, eyeshadow type applicator. I feel like we've seen this a little bit. I did a review on Clinique bringing out a similar item that had a similar tip right here where you grab the product in the lid. You can actually see it right there. It was all right. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest thing ever. It wasn't the worst ever. It was kind of like, eh. But the fact that this is a lip powder from Buxom is what is making me most excited because I love a little plumping action. Like even, even if I can't kiss James for a little bit, like I like it. So I think the colors look super beautiful. There are 10 shades, they are $22 a piece and let's just get to it. So I'm gonna go in first with the shade So Spicy. Oh, that actually is quite minty already. It doesn't burn, it's just like, it's like I put peppermint oil on my lips. Ooh. <gasps> I kind of like that, you guys. It's like, it's very, it does dry down to this very powder type of a thing that feels like absolutely nothing on my lips, but there's definitely color there and it definitely is minty, which is giving you that feeling that your lips are kind of expanding. Not a lot blots off either, ooh. Huh, I have a feeling that this is gonna be long wearing. Okay, is there a lighter one? Darling Dolly. So that's more like got a purple type of a vibe. This is Whisper, this is gonna be like even more of a nude. Ooh, yes, this is like my kind of thing. It does look almost like a powder matte. It's the weirdest thing because it's definitely something that you're picking up in the lid that has a wet feeling to it. Like it's not a straight powder. They have a lot of really pretty neutral tone shades. Okay, so the other one that they have that's more neutral tone is called Cozy Up, which is darker than what I just put on just by a tiny little bit. And then you have more of a cool toned pink, which is this right here. You know, the little stamp on the bottom would indicate that it's more icy and a lot lighter and a lot more cool toned. So that is a drawback that the colors they put on the bottom here to identify what it is, doesn't exactly represent what the true color that you're going to get is. So you might wanna really do some deep digging on Google and make sure that you're looking at all the swatches. Also go and swatch the product. Sometimes it's really disappointing when you just look at like the little square that you see on Sephora or like the bottom right here and you get home and it's totally different than what you had imagined. Okay, I'm gonna go into one of the darker tones. This shade right here is called Spoil Me. That's way brighter when you swatch it. I also know that I absolutely don't wanna wear this one. It's called Want You, and it is like a deeper kind of plum. Looks like it's a bright purple on the stamp. Then we have the shade Seduce Me. That's super pretty. You have the shade Kiss Me, which looks like a neon pink. Is it going to be that? No, it's actually red. Wow, how did they like get that really, really wrong? Then we have the shade Turn Me On. These two look so similar but the bottoms look very, very different. 
I think I am going to try on Seduce Me and go about my day and see how long wearing this is. You know, I know I keep saying that it's very minty when I put it on. I don't know that that's gonna make it super plumping. Like it, it doesn't feel like it's really doing much plumping other than in my head, it feels super minty. These do dry down like immediately. It just feels like I've rubbed powder on my lips, which is making my lips feel a little bit dry, but I love the look of it and I love the weightlessness of it. So we're just gonna take it for a good solid test drive today. Uh, okay. This color is pretty. It is like, I don't know what just happened. I didn't have this before this morning, but after trying all these on, it's like kicked up dry areas on my lips, which I don't like. So I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of a lip scrub. And I think I'm gonna go over the top of this one with one of the lighter shades, because honestly, this is looking just a tiny bit patchy and I am not all about that. All right, I'm gonna go back into the first one that we tried, so spicy, and then I'm gonna be out of here and I'm gonna go run some errands and whatnot, and we will just see how this goes. All right, you guys, so this looks pretty good. It does feel a little drying. I am concerned about that, and I can feel my lips already really wanting like a balm or a gloss, which is not what I want to have in my brain when I am wearing a matte product. It really does feel weightless. It does feel powdery. It's an interesting sensation. So I'm just undecided at this point. Let's see how long this wears and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Well, hello again, you guys. I am sat back down at the very end of the day. My day got away from me. I feel super crazy today, but I did have a moment to swatch and try on a little bit more like off camera. I was hanging out with a girlfriend today and we were kind of playing around with this stuff and I probably should have just hit the record button, but I didn't and I'm so sorry. But I do wanna go through all the shades for you guys one more time because I have stronger opinions about them right now. So we're gonna do that. Um, I am wearing the deep red that kind of has a magenta sticker. Do not be fooled, it is not magenta. It is actually a beautiful red. This is the shade Kiss Me and it has been on for a long time. And you guys, the cool thing about these is not the plumper. It doesn't plump. Like, let me get that out of the way. This is not a plumping item. It does not do anything to plump your lips. It feels slightly minty for maybe two minutes and then it goes away, kind of like a Carmex balm or like a minty lip balm, but it is not going to make your lips bigger. So just like, like throw that away. The Buxom glosses are much better at that, but it doesn't make it a bad product. I actually really enjoy so much about a lot of these. However, there are a few shades that I don't like. So the consistency on a couple of them is not so great, but most of them are really, really great. So I'm gonna go through all of them one more time for you guys. Um, I'm so cozy back here right now. Do you love this? I'm wearing my Taylor Swift sweatshirt too. Like I feel like I need to tell you guys that I'm going to her concert soon in Texas. I know, right? I'm so excited. I'm actually going on a girl's trip and we're gonna go and scream and sing all her songs and I'm really happy about it. Anyway, random information that you probably don't need to know. So let's go through the colors. Okay, we have the shade Soft Whisper, which is a pass. It is too chunky. It just has an uneven feel to me. I'm not a fan of this one. It's the lightest one of the bunch. My favorite out of the nudes is the shade Darling Dolly and So Spicy. But the other two, Cuddle Me and then Cozy Up are also quite nice. So the nudes for the most part, with exception of the lightest one, I would say go ahead, they're great. Of the darker shades, I love the one that I'm wearing. And I kinda wanna say, and that's about it, but Spoil Me and Seduce Me were not great. Turn Me On and Want You were really just not my cup of tea altogether. So I would say the more nude tone shades are better in this collection, with exception of this beautiful red that I am wearing right now, which is like pretty transfer proof. It is not a dry down matte formula that is going to flake off, exaggerate creases, be weird and super drying. It just kind of feels almost like a lip stain, but there is coverage and color there and it almost looks like that powdery matte. So the good shades of this collection look beautiful. The bad shades do look kind of splotchy, which is not what I want in a product. But yeah, I think for 22 bucks, it's great with the colors that work. 
The applicator is really nice and cushy. It just like gets the product on there really quickly. You don't need a lip liner. It is long, long wearing. The other shade that I was wearing this morning, like I did not touch up until after lunch, which for something that is not a dry down matte, I think that's pretty cool. So these are great. I do enjoy them. And there is not much more for me to say other than I hope you liked it. And if you like it, like it because that tells me that you liked it. Oh my gosh. I'm actually being kind of weird right now because I'm starting to get scared in the studio. Like I actually, at night when I'm in here by myself now, you guys, I kind of get like the heebie-jeebies and I get really, really scared. And then I start talking really, really fast and trying to like close out the video super quickly. And then I mess up my words and I'm just like a basket case because everybody that comes in here is so dang convinced that there is like a spiritual person in the room which kind of just gave me chills saying that out loud. Maybe I should not acknowledge that. Anyway, huh, I need to close this down. Me and my red lips are out of here. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoy my videos and it makes me feel good. And it's just like a nice thing to do. So hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed if you have not yet subscribed. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos because I'm here all the time. Like basically I'm here like really all of the time. So come back Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. PST is when I upload. I hope to see you then and thank you for hanging out with me. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.